Hello and a very warm welcome. The Premier League returns. It feels like months, but it's not even been that long. Obviously, the season should start in August. It's going to start in September due to COVID and the pandemic. But just amazing to see the Premier League back. Um, massive, best league in the world, most watched league in the world, world-class managers at the helm, um, world-class players. Premier League is what it is. For me, unbelievable uh, competitiveness. Um, Fulham. And Arsenal are the first game on tomorrow. The Premier League returns tomorrow. We've got Fulham taking on Arsenal. Now, I, I, I would not be shocked at all if Fulham gets some out that game. Arsenal made some good signings. Willian, in particular. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Fulham got some. Then we've got Crystal Palace, Southampton. They will be fighting probably mid-table, like... The, down below mid-table, bottom end of the table. Be an interesting game. Then we've got the champions, Liverpool, taking on the newly promoted side in Leeds United. Klopp v Bielsa. Very interesting. Liverpool not made that many signings as well. Uh, but that will be an interesting game at tea time tomorrow. Uh, West Ham, Newcastle. Newcastle have done a lot of business. Jamal Lewis, um, Callum Wilson. Uh, Ryan Frazier. It's painful this because all these teams are going to play and Manchester United have to wait a week. Obviously we should have been playing Burnley but tomorrow we have a friendly against Aston Villa and then our season starts against Crystal Palace. Europa League commitments, Man City are the same. Man City's game against Aston Villa has been postponed so we are going to play Aston Villa in a friendly tomorrow before our season starts. Then Sunday, we've got newly promoted team West Brom taking on Leicester. The top six are what they are, but Leicester always seem to be in the mix. Fantastic team. Then we've got a big game. Super Sunday to end the day. Tottenham v Everton. Jose Mourinho v Carlo Ancelotti. Everton made a lot of signings. Decore from Watford. Allen, James Rodriguez. Tottenham have made a few signings. Doherty from Wolves. Then we go on to Monday. Sheffield United and Wolves overachieving in the Premier League. Nuno and Chris Wilder, two fantastic managers. And then we've got Brighton and Chelsea. Now, Chelsea been playing FIFA career mode, haven't they? Um, Timo Werner, Ziyech, Havertz, Chilwell, Silva... And they look like they're going to sign a goalkeeper. So that should be an easy win for Chelsea. I, I honestly think Timo Werner could win the Golden Boot. Uh, honestly, Timo Werner is a world-class striker. And that is a world-class signing for Chelsea. Honestly, I believe Timo Werner could win the Golden Boot. Um, I would not be at all shocked if he did. Chelsea, going to be interesting. I predicted they'd finish third. If you've not watched my Premier League predictions, make sure you watch it. Um, honest opinion on where people will finish. But I just can't wait. I love the Premier League. Obviously, we had to finish the season. Then we've had European Champions League games, Europa League. And now the season's getting underway tomorrow. And the first game will be at Craven Cottage, Fulham v Arsenal, live on BT Sport. And I would not be shocked if Fulham got some out the game. It's, it is painful though. Everyone else gets to play and we've got to wait a week till we play Crystal Palace at Old Trafford. But tomorrow we play a friendly against Aston Villa. Uh, hopefully Donny van den Beek can play his first match for the club. And get just get used to the environment, team, formation, tactics. And yeah... We probably deserve our rest because we had a lot of Europa League games, a lot of games. So, But it is kind of frustrating. I'd love for us to be playing tomorrow. Probably the tie of the round. The fixture of the round is Leeds and Liverpool. What a game that is on Saturday. That's the biggest game on Saturday. you got the champions v the newly promoted side. And I think Leeds will be absolutely fine this season. 
And then Sunday you've got Tottenham Everton. Now Everton, underachieving. They've made three great signings for their midfield. Rodriguez, Allen and Decore. They've got to be better, Everton. I mean, they've got a great manager, great facilities, great ground. They've got to do better. They should be doing what Leicester are doing. Interesting. Who do you think will win the Golden Boot? I say Timo Werner. Jamie Vardy will be in the mix. Harry Kane, Aubameyang. Sergio Aguero, if he can stay fit. Had a couple of injuries last season. Hopefully Marshall can be up there firing. But I can't wait. I'm, I'm pumped. I love it. Premier League is back. Their most watched league, their most competitive league, world class players, world class managers Jose, Arteta, Solskjaer, Lampard, Klopp, Guardiola, Daesh, Nuno, Daishi. Uh, can't wait. Honestly, I'm pumped. I love it. And it's actually good next week because I'm a massive Formula One and football fan. My two biggest favourite sports, two biggest passions. And next week, Formula One's not on, so I can just chill out. And watch the United game. I don't have to put my laptop on and watch the TV. Like watching two sports at a different time. But I can't wait for the Premier League to return. It returns tomorrow at Craven Cottage. I can't wait. It's going to be an intense season. Action packed. We've missed out. Season usually starts August. We're a month later. So obviously we've got games coming thick and fast. We'll have to go Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Sunday all this but it is what it is tough times we've got to get through it but we should just be thankful sport is back uh, should be no crowd coming into these grounds till 2021 it's ridiculous contemplating getting fans back of course football needs fans but it's not the right time to bring in fans back simple as that but I can't wait for the Premier League to start Comment down below, we'll always reply, Premier League's back. Woo -hoo -hoo.